Welcome to In Your Element, the podcast that unlocks practical wisdom in higher education, where leadership meets real talk. I'm Brendan Hinkle, Manager of Solutions Engineering here at Element 451. And I'm Daniela Norton, Element 451's Director of Customer Success and Engagement. Join us every other Thursday for discussions with everyday heroes using Element 451 in enrollment, marketing, and student success. We'll unlock the practical tips to help you make waves on your campus. In Your Element is a part of the Enrollify Network, a robust collection of podcasts designed to help higher education professionals like you grow. Explore our other shows at enrollify.org or check out some of my personal favorites linked in the show notes below. Enrollify is made possible by Element 451, the leading AI-powered all-in-one student engagement platform, helping institutions create meaningful, personalized, and engaging interactions with students. Learn more at element451.com. All right, we are live at AMA in Vegas, and we are so excited to be here uh, in your element. And Rollify has completely taken over Caesar's Palace. We had an incredible event here at Stadia Bar, uh, where we were able to kind of buy out the entire place and just had a ton of people there just having a good time and connecting. Um, and AMA has been incredible so far. Uh, today, I actually get the privilege to sit here uh, with Mike and Ryan. Mike's the CEO of NextGrad, and Ryan is the VP of College Partnerships at NextGrad. Uh, And we're just going to talk a little bit, and we're going to dig in a little about what they're doing um, and why partnerships matter. Um, And I think that that's a big piece of higher ed is the relationships and the partnerships, and uh, what they're doing is pretty incredible. So we're going to kick this off. Mike, Ryan, thanks for joining me. Mike, tell us a little bit about your AMA experience so far, and also, you know, what is NextGrad doing? What do people need to know about? Thanks, Brendan. Really appreciate it. It's really Fun to be on Element 451 podcast today. AMA. This is my first AMA, so it's it's a lot to take in, but it's hard to not have a good time when you're at beautiful Caesars in Las Vegas. And I think being in Las Vegas, there's just a lot of excitement, especially for our company, because Las, Las Vegas is a city of lights and city of billboards. And NextGrad is a very interesting company that we're building for higher ed, actually. Um, so it's really exciting to kind of be on here today and enter do NextGrad officially to all the listeners out there. But yeah, Brennan, ne- NextGrad is a really interesting company. Um, NextGrad is an out-of-home company. We're a billboard company. And what we're doing is we are placing billboards inside high schools all across North America and the U.S. and Canada and really providing a new vehicle for colleges to really meet these students one-on-one on students' turf inside the high schools where they're spending nine months a year, eight hours a day, where they're walking up and down their halls. And we, we are strategically placed inside these high schools to be either the first thing that they see when they walk into school each day is a six foot tall giant billboard screen featuring a college or university to them or in the academic areas where they're you know passing through these halls three, four, five, six times a day and coming into contact with our digital screens and our college posters that we do. What I really like about NextGrad is NextGrad, since we're an out of home company, we're kind of like what you sprinkle on top of all these other digital marketing campaigns to kind of increase them and enhance them. Um, so what I really like about you know, NextGrad is it's for, for higher ed universities and marketers, it's not a, you know, do we do NextGrad or do we do something else? It's a, we definitely do both because NextGrad enhances all these other digital marketing strategies we're doing. Um, so we're very interesting or very strategically placed in the marketplace to really kind of enhance you know, every single marketing department's already digital marketing efforts, or if you are a an agency out there and you have higher ed clients, you're already running these digital marketing campaigns, mm-hmm. you know, buying a little bit of NextGrad in these markets that you're already targeting with these digital marketing and zip code campaigns and whatnot will give those a nice little lift and boost. Um, so it's kind of fun for us to especially if you're talking about partnerships, because we, we truly are a great partner um, for everybody out there for these higher ed universities that these marketing departments that might just be working, um, you know, without an agency, or if they do have an agency of record, we love to partner with these agencies and, you know, help them achieve their goals for their clients even more. That's really awesome. And I, as I've gotten to learn more and more about NextGrad talking to you guys, it, it's, 
it's very interesting to hear what you're doing and kind of the impact that that can have, right? And you think of the the billboards in the place that we see as we walk all around everywhere and kind of putting that front of the faces of students so you can point them to. And I loved what you were saying, how like even outside of like classrooms and whatnot. So like the strategic approach to what you guys do, just just for my own curiosity, whenever you're looking at strategically where you're placing those billboards in schools, like what what thought process goes into what's being done there? In the out-of-home world, there's three words, and it's location, location, location. And it's really all about that location. And, you know, I I want these screens to be out front and center where students are passing through, where faculty are passing through. You know, if if there's a basketball game on a Tuesday night and there's going to be a thousand, you know, people from the community walking into the front entrance of that high school, I want them to, you know, walk past our next grad screens and see these colleges and universities that are featuring, you know, uh, are advertising in their communities and trying to really become a community stakeholder uh, with those community members. For us, when we go into a high school, we really consult with them and it's really about where is the highest traffic location where your students are hanging out. Um, Also, you know, depending the area of the country, a lot of the high schools, since we're down in Las Vegas, we have a really great footprint here in Clark County. Um, And a lot of those high schools are very open aired, which is something that a lot of, you know, the, the schools in the Midwest and the Northeast aren't aren't familiar with, but a lot of these, you know, hallways are open aired and whatnot. And so, you know, we might need to place them in the cafeteria. Um, so, you know, we can reach 2,500 students for 30 minutes while they're sitting and having lunch. Um, but for the rest of the country, if, you know, we can place them in the front entrance of these high schools or that main corridor where these students are walking by three or four times a day, uh, that's where we want to be front and center and getting all the eyeballs. That's awesome. Um, I, I, you know, it, it aligns so well with kind of what Element is doing too, right? It's like we are working with colleges, but we're working with colleges in alignment that they are understanding how to best get in front of and to assist and to improve the lives of the high school students that they talk to, um, bring them in as prospects, but even more than that, right? Like even their current students, right? So having that mindset is huge and just thinking of how can you do that? How can you make the college look like the good guy, look like the hero um, for these students. And one of the things that we do is we also value the partnerships we have with other like-minded higher ed companies in the space. And we truly view those as partnerships because when, you know, whenever we come into those relationships, it's like, okay, how can we be mutual beneficiaries of this relationship? Um, how can we equip you to know what we do and why we do it, the heartbeat of the company, if you will, um, and then continue to help you kind of push that, you know, as you talk with students to help them provide. And it's not just to mindlessly and blindly push Element 451, right? It's to make sure that if they're talking with someone and there's this big need for engaging with students through the entire life cycle, that they know, man, the best company that's doing that out there, that's Element. Uh, And maybe this is what's for you. So in equipping them, making sure they're equipped to have that and not just a you know, a mindless blurb about the company, you know? Um, so Ryan, I'd love to know, especially being the VP of college partnerships, um, you know, what's y'all's approach to that partnership? What value do you see out of those relationships? Yeah. At the end of the day, this is a, it's a competitive space, right? We all um, are trying to to get everyone's little dollars and trying to, but at the end of the day, it's all about the students, right? We want to see them succeed and we want to be that avenue and resource for them to be successful, you know? And so for, for us, for, all of our other partners out there that are in the exhibit hall, you know, we want that success for the student, you know, to get them in the doors, but also see them through graduation, retention, all those fun things as yeah. well. So, you know, it's really important, you know, to find those strategic partners in my personal opinion. Um, you know, we're real fortunate at NextGrad. Um, we play well with a lot of great folks in our space. You know, we're great strategic partners with Niche and um, with NACAP is another one. And, yeah. Kaler Solutions with Bart Kaler and stuff and the Ring Digital guys, you know, we love playing with a lot of uh, folks in the same space who have the similar mission, similar success stories. I love that. And one of the things that I've learned, so listener, if you don't know this about me uh, yet, I've been in higher ed for around 15 years now. Prior to being at Element, uh, I was in higher ed on the institutional side for over a decade. Uh, In higher ed, it's all about relationships through and through. You see that even to this day, I've seen it going to these conferences. I've gone to a ton of conferences this year and companies, like you said, like Kaler Solutions and Ring Digital, man, I've got friends like through these conferences, yeah. right? And it's so cool to see that develop uh, these relationships as go on. And that kind of permeates through 
to the schools that we work with, right? And it's so cool. I know we have a handful of partners that are alike. Um, one of the ones that stands out for me is uh, CWI, College of Western Idaho. Incredible team over there. Um, they're very student-focused on experience. Um, one of the things that they did whenever they first implemented Element and they launched their application was they sat down and watched as applications were coming in and they monitored what students were coming in contact with, running into issues with, and they went in and live altered their application to mimic, you know, what was the best experience for the student to have as they were going through it, which I think is so powerful and it just shows the intentionality of these schools that we work with. So I'm interested to know, are there any standouts of the one who to work together? Any stories about CWI? Any experiences there? Uh, or just even what is your approach whenever you're working with these schools um, to make sure that they are remaining, like they are having that student-centered focus? Well, CWI is a great example because they've been an ex-red partner for, I believe, three years now since 2021. And what I really like about CWI is when we were first entering the the Idaho market, which we cover really heavily now. I think we have about 25 high schools, of, or 25 of the largest high schools across Idaho. Wow. Cover almost 40% of all Idaho high school students every single day of the school year. You know, when, when we're in a market, we, because we're billboard guys and we're out of home people, and we notice, you know, who, what universities are buying billboards, what universities are running out of home campaigns on bus transit and things like that. Um, so I saw CWI on a couple of billboards in Boise, and I'm just like, this just makes sense if, you know, whoever's already buying their out of or their marketing for them, whether it's themselves or whether it's an agency, should know about NextGrad that we are this out of home medium now inside these high schools. And so if you're trying to reach undergrad, um, especially in a local market somewhere, it just makes sense to buy the out of home product that's available in that high school where these students are hanging out most of the day and coming into contact with that. So it's really just about connect. What I, what I like about out of home is right now out of, home, out of home's having a renaissance period mm. and it's this new word called place based and it's no longer reserved for out of home where it just has to be a billboard on the side of the highway. And the only people that see that are people on the highway, but there's a lot of companies and next grad's one of them where a place based out of home company placing out of home products in front of consumers of a certain of a certain medium. And so Next Grad wanted to be that medium inside these high schools and build for colleges and universities to really have a place for them to have an out of home campaign. It really doesn't make sense if you're recruiting undergrads to just throw money at a billboard on the side of the highway when during the school day, you know, students aren't in school seeing that, but it makes a lot of sense if there's digital screens or static posters inside of a high school for you to be able to buy that inventory inside those high schools and reach those target eyeballs. So that's what I really like about place space out of home. Next Red is very targeted. I mean, there's no wasted impressions. It's all 14 to 18 year olds. And then outside of that, it's the main stakeholders. It's the faculty, it's the parents, it's the community that, you know, you're coming into contact with and telling your story to. So um, it, it, it's really interesting when you really look at out of home, you can get just as targeted as digital campaigns in specific zip codes and in specific markets to find those 14 to 18 year old eyeballs. And, and what I'll add is, and what I love about our companies and very similar to a lot of companies, right? We at next we call them the three E's. We want to empower students. We want to get them excited about what these institutions have to offer. We also want to engage with them, right? Yeah. And there's not one particular platform, one particular channel. That works. You, you need multiple multiple channels and platforms for it to work. And so that's, to me, the beauty of it. Um, and that's also the beauty of the partnership piece, too, mm -hmm. is I can talk to them. OK, you're doing this, but let's add, like Mike said, sprinkle this onto it a little bit um, in addition to that. So th that, to me, is the, the beauty of NextGrad, but also the beauty of just the community as a whole um, and working that true partnership and relationship. I love that so much. And I, I, so on one of the things that you're saying, Mike, it's so funny, you mentioned billboards like on the side of the road. And it just makes like, as you talk about that, it makes so much sense, right? Like, let's put the billboards where the kids are in the school. Like that comment sounds like a aha moment, but it's like, yeah, duh, of course we should do that. Because think about it, right? Strategically, kids are driving on the highway probably not paying attention to the billboard. If they're not driving and they're in the passenger seat because the parents or someone else is driving, they're probably on their phone, yeah. um, right? So they're, we're probably not seeing too much of that uh, traffic. And um, But all the, to the other thing that you're saying, Ryan, I love empower, I love your first E of empower. Um, one of the trends I think that we're seeing with students coming up and especially Gen Alpha is there is this empowerment that exists within this 
upcoming generation of it's no longer like the parents just making the decision, but it's a collaborative decision for who's making this. So to get to get the targeted ads and the targeted billboards to the people that you want them to feel empowered, that's that's huge, right? Because this is where the differences are going to be made whenever whenever these decisions are being made around the kitchen table. Yeah. Um, because it's going back to the kitchen table, right? The, the same methodologies that are coming back to what they classically they have been. So that's very cool. One of the things that we do here on the In Your Element podcast show is we ask everyone when they're in their element. Um, so it doesn't, and typically we're interviewing folks that are uh, element users, but this this fits so well because this is the partnership piece, right? You're working with the schools that, that we work with that are using Element. So I have to ask both of you, doesn't have to be work related. It can just be when you're in your, when you feel like you're personally in your Element. It can be if you want it to be. Um, so we'll start off uh, with you, Mike, and then, or with Ryan, and then we'll go over here to Mike. So let us know, when are you in your Element? I will say most definitely I'm in my Element when I'm here at conferences, Like right? I just love working with um, strategic leaders and developing those uh, recruitment plans and marketing plans. And so this is my element. You know, we could sit down and talk about, hey, let's look at an emerging market or let's think about, you know, reaching this student here. Um, or, you know, I've had the beauty of being in the industry 20 years like yourself, you know, a lot of our schools and our network, I can physically say I've been there. So like, that's when I'm in my element. It's when I can share a story or an experience that I have with a student at, Minnesota High School in Minnesota or something like that. So that's that's when I'm in my element. I'm going to talk about a side to next grad that most people don't think about in higher ed, especially higher ed marketers. But next grads, next grads, really interesting because we serve two sides. We really work and serve for you know higher ed for admissions and marketers to reach their target market in their audience, these 14 to 18 year olds. Um, but we have an entire high school partnership division, and we really at the end of the day, are, are working mostly every single day, day in and day out, mostly with our high school partners, and making sure that our high school partners are happy with our service, that you know students and parents are happy seeing our digital screens, that they're on and working every day. The nitty gritty of next grad, especially how I started with my younger brother, Asher, um, was really just by going into high schools and setting up these screens by ourselves. Of you know, 400 plus digital screens over the last few years that have been set up. It's really been set up by myself, my brother, and, and my father, and, and Ryan. So, if you go into a high school and you see a digital screen right now set up, it's one of us four that that went into that high school and was you know down on the ground, getting you know sweaty and dirty, and you know spraying some nuts and bolts and getting that screen up and working. So I feel like I feel most in my element right now, especially building next grad, is when I'm in these high schools, talking to these principals, talking with these you know counselors you know, talking about the story of next grad, um, but getting to see and, and be the one to set up that screen and take a lot of pride of putting that screen up in that high school and knowing um, that I'm going to be part of that high school community, that the next grad brands, you know, going to be seen by these high school kids um, every single day for, you know, their four years while in high school. So that's where I'm most in my element is in this, in this high school building next grad um, and doing kind of the behind the scenes work to really get this product up and going across all these high schools. Awesome. I love that so much. Nothing that's worth it ever came easy. Um, and I love that servant leadership and just getting in, getting your hands dirty and getting it done is, uh, is humble, humble beginnings. But also like, as you go through, it's so important to remember, like we worked for this, um, and you're making something great. And I, I think what you guys are doing is something that is truly great. Um, so thanks so much for joining me, uh, and having a little conversation, talking about what you guys are doing in this partnership idea. Um, because I think it's something, the more we collaborate as, uh, companies, uh, with like-minded goals, the more impact that we will see for our students. Um, and at the end of the day, that is who it is for. So thanks so much. Um, and have a great rest of your AMA. Thanks. Thanks, thanks guys. Thanks, thanks Brendan. Brendan. In Your Element is part of the Enrollify podcast network. If you like this podcast, chances are you'll like other Enrollify shows too. Our podcast network is growing by the month, and we've got a plethora of marketing, enrollment, and higher ed technology shows that are jam-packed with stories, ideas, and frameworks, all designed to empower you to be a better higher ed professional. Our shows help higher ed marketers and enrollment professionals find their next big idea and feature a selection of the industry's best as your hosts. Learn from Mallory Wilsey, Artis Kadu, Maya Demishkovich, and so many other of your favorite leaders in higher ed. 
Enrollify is made possible by Element 451, the leading AI-powered, all-in-one student engagement platform, helping institutions create meaningful, personalized, and engaging interactions with students. Learn more at element451.com.